Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sugris Gaming and welcome to what possibly could be the greatest reveal for a Call of Duty game ever. The Warzone Life event was absolutely crazy, so let me walk you through everything that happened. And if you guys are excited for COD 2020 and at any time enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad, and let's get into it. The time for the Warzone Life event was finally here and we got a playlist update with a game mode called Know Your History. And upon entering into the Warzone match, we get a new intro with that airplane that just flew by, and I'm guessing that's gonna be the plane that will be jumping out of when Black Ops Cold War comes out. One thing I really found interesting was that every word slash letter was actually being covered up just like you saw, but then we jump out of the plane everything is normal until you get to this screen where you can see that the names of the areas in the Warzone map are being crossed out. And if you guys look at the left hand of the screen you can see a checklist with a heading of steps to freedom and we have four of them that we need to complete. Obviously that was a reference to the Black Ops 1 campaign mission where you meet Reznov in the prison for the first time where we had the steps to freedom checklist that we had to complete. This was exactly the same as that but obviously with less steps. And right above that we had the intel by all means and that basically told us what we had to do in order to complete each step and move on to the next stage of this life event. And for the collect the map codes all you had to do was basically either loot or kill enemies and they will drop a file and you had to collect that and you need to do that five times. Just like you're seeing here I got killed right but then boom there goes that floating thing I dropped it. So whether you kill someone or you get killed you will drop that file and you have to collect it you need five of them to move on to the next level. And as you guys can see at this point we have three out of the required five. My team just kill someone he gets another one and then right there another teammate kills someone i see this guy on the ground so i turn into batman we just need one more we are four out of five i shoot at the guy i thought he's dead but then i realize he's not so i show him again i thought he's dead no he's not third time the charm and there it goes map code secured into the next step so the next step in this checklist is secure the key so i pull up the map i try and look where it is it's all the way across the map and that bunker i know there was a helicopter on top of this building so i kill myself just to get to this helicopter and boom i get it and then i go all the way across and right here i absolutely finish my teammates <laughs> because I get into the helicopter and leave them to go and get the keys but it's okay because if one gets it then we all do and not only that also I was afraid that others might get to it before we do and I wasn't sure if everything is at the same spot for everybody else or if it changes for every team anyways I make my way to the bunker and I enter it and right there on the floor line is the keys so I collect them and boom let's go to the next step so secure the keys is completed now we need to crack the map code and I look at the map where is it it's right there so I have to make my way back there but for completing that we get a calling card called ascension or as we know it as mason what do the numbers mean and i'm not gonna lie to you guys this was the hardest step of all of them because we had to search the areas inside of the yellow circle and we spent about two to two and a half minutes trying to find it until somehow one of my teammates found it and that completes crack the map code and now into the next step which is wield the weapon and in my opinion here is where it starts to get really really interesting and amazing and now we go on to the last step which is wield the weapon and as it just said locate the weapon and this is where it starts to get interesting and how do we know where this weapon is well if you look at above these steps it says f4 that's our hint we go on the map f4 and it takes us to the tv station we finally get to the tv station there were a lot of people camping here so it took us a couple of tries but we finally did get in and after a couple of minutes of searching here we finally found it and look at that none other than frank woods himself is standing there with the weapon once you go collect the weapon or yield the weapon as they're saying it gives you a legendary blueprint for a marksman rifle called the bay of pigs obviously that's a reference to the first mission in black ops 1 so what happens next what do we do now we completed all the checklist well there's a timer we have to wait until that timer finishes and that's gonna start the official reveal gameplay trailer for black ops cold war campaign so the time is almost finished only a couple of seconds left and then announcer starts to read out some random numbers again that's another reference and now with only about three seconds to go what's gonna happen come on we want to see what's gonna happen and boom the screen goes black what's going on here and someone says avoid the gas get to the safe zone what what does that even mean what is going on here but then we get played this trailer that we've seen before and we just get dropped into the world zone map with gas coming randomly and then that comes up saying run to the stadium get to the safe zone it changes to you will not survive and the same numbers that the announcer was reading just before this they appear what is going on here we are running like our life depends on it and yes it does because otherwise you will not survive <laughs> anyways i'm trying to run as fast as i can and as we are running there are words coming up on the screen the same ones that we saw in the trailer from couple of from about a week ago know your history or doomed to be repeated we finally make it and boom this guy appears on our screen like that we are so close couple of seconds left and boom once you get to the stadium this happens and then we get the gameplay reveal for the campaign for black ops cold war but not only the campaign was shown we even got a 15 second clip of multiplayer as you're seeing in front of you so i'm telling you guys this was probably the best game reveal i've ever seen 
it was amazing in terms of the live event and then the trailer follows up with even a snippet of the multiplayer I was already hyped and this just got me even more hyped I really cannot wait for the release of Black Ops Cold War it's looking like it's gonna be an amazing game and right about now on your screens is the reveal trailer for Black Ops Cold War make sure you go watch that and if you guys are excited for Black Ops Cold War and anytime enjoy this video make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty make sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad and I'll catch you guys later